What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So I'm reseasoning the bottom of my black iron pot here. I put it on the burner at a very high heat to burn off this bottom layer, and then I cleaned it real good. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this thing in the oven at about 300 degrees so that it can dry real good and open up the pores of the metal. So as you can see, not much has changed here. It's just got a nice heat to it. It's dried out real good. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and then season up the back side of this thing so that I can protect the pot real good. At this point, I'll increase the heat of my oven to 500 degrees. So I'm using a vegetable shortening. I actually learned this from my boy, the Flat Top King. If you haven't heard of Flat Top King, go check him out. YouTube, Facebook, dude's awesome. So the shortening's melting right away because this pot is hot. And I'm just rubbing it down. I'm getting every crevice of this thing all around the curves of the legs, all around the bottom. And of course, eventually I'll go, go up these legs as well and make sure I get every part of this pot. So that way, whenever I do put it in the oven again to polymerize it, everything's going to seal real good. Just keep on wiping this down. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I have wiped down every bit of the bottom and side of this pot. I've gotten the legs really good. So now I'm going to go ahead and flip it back over and I'll do the inside of this pot. All right. So once again, we have our vegetable shortening. We're going to go ahead and rub the bottom of the pot here. And as you can see right away, it's melting because the pot is still hot. Now, you really want to take your time with this. This is not a process you need to rush. We don't need to wipe this thing down real quick. We're not picking up dishes here, all right? We want to make sure the shortening can get into every bit of the pores of the pot so that way, whenever it does polymerize, it's going to harden in every single pore, all right? So I'm really taking my time here, getting around the bottom, along the sides. I'm going to go up the walls and just make sure I get every bit of this pot that I can. At the same time, too, I'm going to go back over all my areas because I want a thin layer of this shortening. I don't want this to puddle up anywhere. I want it to be a nice thin layer so that way it is all coated evenly. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have applied a nice thin layer of this vegetable shortening. We've gone over it a few times here so it's all smooth. I've gotten all the edges, the sides. It looks beautiful. Now I'm gonna get this thing in the oven. We'll cook this thing for 45 minutes. So when you set your timer to 45 minutes, also remember that when it's done, you turn the oven off and you're just gonna let it sit in there and cool. After a couple hours, when the pot is finally cooled down, you can go ahead and remove it from the oven. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, our pot is seasoned. That vegetable shortening has polymerized to the pot, leaving a nice non-stick coated surface. That greasy look you saw earlier is no longer there. I rub my fingers on it. As you can see, there's nothing on my fingers here. It has completely hardened. Even the outside looks beautiful. And it's gonna keep the pot safe for a while too. You know, it'll keep it from rusting. You know, it's gonna look pretty. And you can cook whatever you want. Like this beautiful pasta laya. <laughs> Ain't no Tom, Dick, or Rhett gonna tell me otherwise. Pasta is delicious. Cook what you want, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy. The whole world. Guarantee yourself a copy of my new cookbook at CajunNinjaBook.com. Get down.